Hey, what is up everybody? This is your boy, No One Shock. I'm right you with yet another Star Trek Lee Command video. Today, we're going to talk about the Supreme Choice. What to pick if you have one Supreme Choice, Soken, or two or three, depending on what rank you took in the Soul leaderboards and well, the event itself in general. Some people may have thought the event was hard, but you look at the prizes, you can see why they're a little bit harder to get these tokens, but they were achievable. But before we get into the video, Let's don't forget to hit that subscribe, that like, that bell notification. You know when I go live, you know when I post videos, and don't forget I do have donation links in that. See more, click that button. There are donation links there. We have PayPal, Cash App, and a Venmo. If you want to do so and help, remember this is my main source of income. So if you do want to help, that'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to follow my Twitter or my Twitch, my Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from one to two thirty Pacific Standard Time. If you guys do want to join in, please do so. It'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to hit my Just Score to know when I post videos or just to talk to me asking questions i'll be there to help you guys out i'm here to help you guys learn about the game and get better at it to do more understanding about the game so about the supreme choice thing it was a hundred dollar pack at first so if we go to here it should still be here if i remember right so let's go down and let's see if they're still selling it uh i don't think they're actually selling it anymore oh they pulled it off hopefully why would you pull it off when you still have two days left of it but anyways, the Serene Choice was a $100 pack that you would have to purchase to get the tokens. And you get two for $100, right? Cool. And then is, this is one of the things that Sculpey's done that's been really generous and really different for them. Because this is an event that gave Supreme Choice tokens. And on top of that, they had a Soul Leaderboard that could award you up to three if you took first place two if you took second and third and one if you took fourth through tenth i believe let's look at so right here as you see tenth so we go there and we go back to this one which is some pretty choice heroic which i had about seven thousand borg solo saved up for this one not this one specifically but i just had them sit in their epics and i ran them i finished it the first thing oh wait i'll i'm not dive right into that right away but we look at this print choice leaderboard this is one that people fought for. I took seventh in. I was second for a while. Kenny knocked me out of the way. Zosi, Hicks, CB knocked me out of the way. Barusa, well, he was always him and uh, Jumbo were at first. But I was at least trying to get the top 10 until they get another coin so I can get another part to get it. And a lot of us are debating right now since the last two days of the event or two days of the store being open, what do we get? Because I've been seeing a lot of this in my line chat asking, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? And my thoughts behind most of the what do we gets are, what do you have? Are you free to a player? Are you a moderate spender? Have you spent money in the game? There's some ideas where you ask yourself that. Have you bought yourself the projectiles? That would, if you bought these projectiles already, that would knock you out of the equation. If you already bought the projectiles and the skins, that would knock it down to just officers because it is pointless to get X Borg faction. Yeah, it may be a lot. It may speed you up a little bit through that, but it is not worth it whatsoever to buy the X Borg credits when you have potential of $100 packs here. So what I'm talking about potential $100 packs is I had the Borg Sphere, which I got. It's not showing here anymore, which is a $100 pack. Well, it had some goodies in it, but still a $100 pack. Then I got the Malgum skin, which you think about, you use that for rating. And people are like, oh, I don't rate that much. Oh, no, no. But you still have once a month when rating does come up, the amalgam is going to come up with it, which I'm talking about is incursion. So we look and look at my amalgam. So if we go to my surveys. My amalgam should be right here. I haven't equipped it yet because I just got it. And if anyone doesn't know what the amalgam skin does, I'll give you a run through on it. I think it's a cool skin. Gives a little bump up on it, a similar to amalgam skin. And so we'll take a, we'll take a well a look at what we have. We had the spear on here. We had the energy focus beam and the polar arm beam. So the portal on beam does what? It gives you 20% more damage toward or crits toward or 20% more damage to your crits toward Borg. Cool. So that's going to affect your Borg probe kills and your Borg solar armada kills and expansion cube. And potentially in Voyager space, there is 
Borg spheres you take down, but I'm not sure if that's equivalent. Those might be DQ hostiles. If you guys know, correct me in the bottom of the comments. It'd be greatly appreciated. And then we have the Armada base one. So this Armada, energy focus beam projectile increases piercing against Armada. So that's not much of a get to me. The top pick was going to be the sphere. And if you guys didn't know what the spear was, spear, spear, whatever, whatever you want to call it. If you didn't know what it was, we'll go over that right here as we speak. We click here. We go to projectiles. And as you see here, I did unlock the, the board cannon. I don't know why I call this spear. My mind's going every which way. But it does increase 25% to your base hull. Which, yeah, that's not significant. But as a higher level player, it does give you a few million extra hull. A few million power. That is going to keep surviving you. So as you project through the game, it is going to affect you through the game. Because once you unlock a projectile, it affects all your ships, not just that one. And if you guys didn't know what the Magnum skin did. So the Magnum skin right here. It increases... The Magnum bonus loop by 30%, which is quite significant if you guys haven't seen. So we have the two of the focus beam. And da, 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 da. These, the focus beam and polar beam right here. And those were the two unlocks they were possible. So my first choice is if you if I were you guys, I would get the cannon if you don't have the cannon for the extra bonus. I would get the Malgum skin. That's another top tier pick, in my opinion. But if you guys both have that, go the polar on beam. The polar beam is going to affect all your Borg related stuff. If you don't have the Mantis skin, you want to, you're somehow focused on getting the Mantis up there. Yeah, it's 30% more of the whole fragments per run, whatever. It's easy to get those things right now when you can stock up on all of them with the right crew, which is five, Tal and Giorgio in those systems where you can actually use a G3 or G4 rare and bank up a lot of, a lot of the um, Venom out of it. And then we have officers here. So if we were going to look at officers, personally, Hugh, if you don't have Hugh, Hugh is a MVP. No matter how you look at him, Hugh is going to be a top choice. Projectiles are going to be first, skins are going to be second, Hugh's going to be third. Unless you don't have Hugh, Hugh's going to be first. But I would highly focus on projectiles because I never had a projectile that actually did anything for in-game. I never actually purchased one. So I was like, Borg Cannon, Borg Cannon, Borg Cannon right away. Just for that little bonus. And plus, I like the projectile. And if you guys didn't see my Amalgam video, you see why I'm kind of going for the projectiles. If you guys haven't seen the Amalgam video, please go back. I think it was my last video, so please go check it out. Because that gives you an explanation on the Amalgam Refinery update. But besides that, yeah, you have your PvP crews, which if you do want it, stay away from the morale crew. They're not that great. You would look at Cardassians uh, and Strike Team. Those are two you want to look at, but the Strike Team's going to, or the um, Battleship Strike Team's going to be your far best out of it. And then we go up here. I'm not a really fan of Pick Picard, Riker, or Worf. Those are last on my list. Jadzia, I would not. And Kira and Bashir, I would not. Personally, as this choice pack is going to be something that reflects something you would normally purchase for a hundred dollars and your choice is going to be well they give you fifty dollars for free technically if you do the event and they give you the extra hundred if you actually participate in the leaderboard and got the top 10 so if you look at it that way yeah you can see where it looks at but these are hundred dollar packs at one point so you can actually get something that is worth your time so my opinion is projectile so really have polar on beam and bore cannon amalgam skin I would push toward the Mantis, you, and then strike teams. And that'd be in my honest opinion. So if you have one to spend, I would go the the Borg or Borg Sphere, Circle, whatever the probe you want to call it. Just go for that. I like the Prolong Beam after that. But besides that, this is no one shall trying to give me my helpful advice on this uh, Supreme Choice bundle, Supreme Choice, whatever you want to call it, that Scopely actually generously gave out as a part of an event and a soul leaderboard. I hope they do more of this in the future. All right, guys, it is no one shall sign out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below and below that. Don't forget to leave a comment how you enjoyed the video or what you chose in the Supreme Choice one. And don't forget, there are donation links in the description, PayPal, Cash Up, and Venmo. Remember, this is the main source of income, so please help out if you can. And don't forget, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 to 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, it is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.